In this video lesson, I'm going to teach you about quick replies. So quick replies are extremely useful when creating bots. They're really meant, at least in all the cases that I use them, for a navigational tool, but they can also be used for something else, which I'll talk about in a later video on user attributes. So let's delete the gallery tab or plugin rather that we had here from earlier. And let's rewrite this onboarding just a little bit. We'll eventually change it in a later video to make it optimized, but for the time being, let's just say, welcome to our restaurant. Cool, so very simple welcome message. And now I'll show you what the purpose of the quick replies here have in your bot as far as navigation is concerned. So think of these, these buttons here as tabs on a website, okay? So different navigational points in the menu that direct you to specific parts of the bot that enhance user experience and make it easier instead of just relying on a user typing something in and getting a response with the artificial intelligence that we've programmed. So first thing that you wanna do is let's say we have three different sales funnels, so to speak, or three different courses of action that people can take when entering or using our bot. So for the first, let's call it food. Uh, so this is the name of the button right here, the quick reply, food. And then we have to actually connect it to a block so that when somebody taps that button, it redirects them somewhere. So let's make it simple and just type in food here and create that food block. So again, as you remember from earlier, a block is just like a page of a website. So if we click here, we see that the new food block has been created and of course nothing is here yet because we haven't added anything. So we're gonna go back to the welcome block and type in a couple more options. So let's say we have the option to get food. Let's say we also have a contact tab and we'll create that block as well. And to be clear, you can name the block something else, but just for the sake of consistency, I keep it the same. And then finally, let's assume there is a catering program with this restaurant and they do catering. So let's type in catering and follow the same process, create a new block called catering. Cool. So I'm just going to rearrange these. And to do that, you use this slider right here and move it over. Cool. So this is what the users will see when they first enter the bot. Okay. It'll say, welcome to the restaurant, just a simple greeting. And then they have the option to choose one of these buttons that will redirect them to one of these blocks. And again, for the sake of consistency, I'm going to reorder this block right here. So everything is in order the same way it's presented here, just for simplicity. So let's go to the food block then. And now we can add anything we want. So let's say this is the food block. Great. So we've created a very simple structure here with quick replies. And the biggest pain with bots at this point, ChatFuel currently doesn't have this capability, is that if you want this to be a menu that is used on all pages of your bot, or all blocks rather, of your bot, you have to manually re-enter those quick replies here. So on every single block, yes, I know it's a pain, but it really makes for great user experience. So I'll retype the food block here, the catering block here, and then finally the contact block right here. So now the benefit of this is that people can not only get to the food block from the main menu, from the welcome message, but once they get here, they're not stuck. They also have the ability to go to these other tabs that otherwise they would have to be back at this welcome block to access. So that's ultimately the point of quick replies. But again, there is much more functionality that you can do with them as far as user attributes are concerned, but I'll talk about that in a later video.